In this session, we're going to be focusing on buying and selling shares. Now, buying and selling shares is an important part um, for your simulation. And we try and um, recommend to clients that you need to buy and sell on your simulation and that you shouldn't be afraid of losing the um, fictitious money which is given to you. In your simulation, we do provide you with 100,000 um, simulation money which is available to you to train with. And we want you to buy and sell shares so that you can train rather lose money with the fictitious money um, than losing money with your real finances so these are things that you need to focus on in terms of the simulation so we're going to show you an example of how do you buy a share and then also how do you sell that share and then we're going to talk a little bit about your simulation portfolio and the way it's set out so let's start with buying of a share so what you do is after you've done a technical and fundamental analysis and you say listen I'm ready to buy a stock then you go to your simulation and as you go to your simulation, it's quite simple. It says, listen, either buy shares or sell shares. So we want to do buy shares. So I click on buy shares. Now it asks me for my for a name or for a code. So if you don't know the code of a company, you can search by the name um, or you can simply just use um, the code of a company. So let's say, for instance, I want to buy Sassel shares. Then I don't know what the company's code is. So I just start typing Sassel. And we case uh, Sassel Limited. We choose Sassel Limited. We click on buy. Then it gives me this option which says order to buy. Now it's important that you always note that you're buying out of your simulation account. Make sure out of which account you are buying if you have more than one account. Then make sure that the code is right of the company that you're buying and then that the name is right. The important part here is that if you've bought the share um, or if you've analyzed the stock and you want to buy it and you know at which level you want to buy it, make sure that the level that you've analyzed the stock on at which you want to buy it corresponds to this level or the last trade price. That is an important part. Then at the bottom we do show you date which was the last um, trading date for that share price. Then you get maximum that you can afford to buy. So for instance, in my portfolio, I only got 17,000 Rand still available. So I can only buy 17,000 Rand worth of Sassel shares. So now I can go here and say, listen, I want to, for instance, buy 20 Sassel shares. 20 Sassel shares is going to cost me, including brokerage, 9,094 Rand 16. It gives me a break even percentage of 2.53%. So that's the level at which I would start to break even. And then anything more than that I need, um, I will start making money off of the share. And remember the simulation, we want you to buy below a 4% break even point. Then it asks you for a reason on why you are buying the share. Now, when you do a real uh, trade, they are not going to ask you why do you want to buy a share no broker is interested in knowing why you want to buy a share our idea behind the comment is so that you can provide either a technical or a fundamental reason for your purchase of the share you basically need to tell to yourself what is the reason why i'm buying this so a valid reason would be by looking at the macd and the stochastic the shares performance um, is undervalued and the shares momentum is picking up and that might be a reason technically why you're buying it. Or you can give a fundamental reason for instance that listen, um, Sassel is expanding in the shale gas projects so this is a long term buy um, for that reason fundamentally. Those are reasons why you can buy it. Reasons why you, what you can't use is that your family members say that listen this is a good quality stock. This. Uh, um, and you need to buy it. That's not a good reason for why you should buy a share. Remember, we stated clearly in our previous webinars that nobody cares about your finances or your money except for you. I don't care for your finances. I'm only out to make money. That's what brokers do. They're only out to make money for themselves and only give you a little bit. That's the main idea of brokers. So they're making a living off of your finances. So what we try and do is, is you need to give a solid reason for why you're buying it. So in order so that if something does go wrong, that you immediately know, okay, I've made a loss on this stock. What did I miss? And you've got a 
immediately got a point from where you can work and say, listen, this is the reason I bought it. What did I miss? So you go back to the financials of a company or you go back to the latest news of a company or you go and do another technical analysis and try and find out what did you miss before you bought it. So one reason that you can, for instance, use is saying that, listen, um, I've done my analysis and the share based on the MACD and the SDOC, C, which is the stochastic oscillator, um, the share undervalued and um, that share is in bull trend and I'm just going to write share is low in cycle so this is an example of what you can use when buying a share right so this this would be if I've done my analysis on Sassel that would, this would probably be one of my examples that I can use then I can click on confirm by order as soon as I click on confirm by order it takes me to the next page and on this page we say confirm by order so you can't really do anything here we just explaining to you what are you paying in brokerage fees so we're putting everything out and saying listen you're paying 80 rand in brokerage fees remember share tracking calculates its simulation cost based on what standard banks costs are and then you'll see we've got projected VAT, which is 14 percent of that brokerage which is 1120 then you get your projected straight cost which is a fixed cost of 10 rand 92 you get your projected STT also referred to as security transfer taxes and you're only liable for that when buying a share then you get projected IPL which is investor protection levy which is 0 0.002 percent which adds up to two cents of your brokerage and then projected share cost is 8968 uh, sorry 8969.60 so that's excluding brokerage this price as shown here and this is the total cost including brokerage if you're happy with that you just simply click on buy shares and now you'll notice I already have some shares in my portfolio but now you'll notice that I've got Sassel at the bottom I've bought 20 shares my unit cost is 454.71 it gives me a total cost of 9,000 uh, 9,049.16 and my the current price is 448.48 now there's a difference between this price and this price unit cost means what is the share what did the what did you pay for the share in brokerage and what did you pay for the share itself adding those together you get a unit cost so that's including brokerage what you paid for the share so you probably bought the share at 448 rand you bought it at this value but including brokerage you actually paid this value so do note the difference between unit cost and current price then looking to the little side if we take this analysis of the simulation account you'll notice you've got today's move now today's move is the 15 minute delay for for that day up or downwards movement so you'll notice for instance Sassel was already down by 903 cents it's in cents value um, and where it says overall move and percentage overall move you get a percentage with also a rand value your share needs to be in a positive so if you look for instance on PSG I've or I'm already up 4.46 percent while I am down 1.37 percent on Sassel because you still need to make up for your brokerage fees that you paid and that's why you're still in the red so your overall move will differ sometimes from your today's move it's not to say because your today's move is positive that your overall move should also be positive it does it, it's not linked to one another your overall move is your overall progress of your stock since the day that you've bought it while today's move is only focused on the 15 minute delayed of that share for each trading day right so this is this um, layout of how your portfolio will look then if you want to get rid of a share so you want to sell a share then you just click on sell shares and let's say you want to sell one of your shares you need to select 
out of the list of your shares which you have which ones do you want to get rid of so I want to sell for instance Sassel again and you just click on sell and it's the same principle you used on the buy you once again make sure that you're selling at the price that you sold one that you've technically analyzed the share and that you are selling the share at you put the price in there the number of shares how many shares do you want to sell do you want to sell all of your shares or only a portion of your shares that you'll need to decide let's say for instance we're going to sell 100% of our shares which is going to be the amount already within this block and then we ask a comment again now you need to provide a reason for why you want to buy these shares once again if you want to get a give a reason for selling a share it can be something like you're selling the share because it hit your stop loss or you're selling the share because you're taking profit that would be one of the main two reasons for giving it so let's say uh, share hit stop loss right after you've done that after you've done that you'll see your brokerage cost is 102 14 for the sell because you still pay brokerage for the sell order all you do is you click on sell shares then once again the same thing that we've done on the buy once again you get confirm sell order uh, make sure that you're selling out of the correct account make sure the amount of shares you want to sell then we give you projected brokerage projected VAT projected straight projected IPL and as we explained earlier on you do not pay STT or security transfer taxes on a selling order only the buyer is liable for STT so you're only paying IPL on this excluding um, STT and then projected fees is 102 Rand 14 and then what you're selling it for is your total cost at the bottom the projected share cost uh, then you say confirm sell order and then as soon as you've sold the share you'll notice that it's away from my portfolio and if I scroll to the bottom you get what we call transaction history so this is all your buys and sells and then this shows me I've sold the share 20 shares and after you've sold the share the money is placed back into your cash available account